Welcome, welcome, ladies and gents, haters and fans. This is the best video yet, video number three. In a previous video, I talked about the five tactics to make your emails stand out, to make your emails more effective. One of the principles was to create and use bullet points in your written communication. And this video will do a deep dive on bullet points and why bullet points are more effective than paragraphs and why you should use bullet points primarily in your communication. At the end of the video, you will be able to do three things. You will understand why you should preferably use bullet points over paragraphs, why paragraphs are more difficult to digest and to understand, and why bullet points are a way to concisely communicate your message. Number two, you will understand how to write effective bullet points. What are the ingredients of effective bullet points, such as conciseness, pithiness, using selective bolding, parallelism. And then lastly, you will learn how to apply the rule of three and apply parallelism to improve your bullets from mediocre bullets to amazing bullets. Please watch this video all the way until the end if you enjoy this content. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section with any thoughts, questions, feedback, and, and dreams. The first tactic is to replace paragraphs with bullet points as much as possible. In this course, I've already shown you a couple one long paragraph email examples. In general, long paragraphs should be avoided and a better approach is to convert them to bullet points. This is a very easy and straightforward example, but one that happens a lot in business. In this example, John wants to share the aligned next steps. So they had a meeting and he wants to make sure that everybody's aware of the next steps. And in the left-hand side example, he includes all the next steps in a one long paragraph. A way better approach would be to use the right example. One quick sentence of the message, we align on the following next steps, and then list the next steps in bullet point form. Bullet points are especially powerful for things like next steps, action items, key insights, and other lists. Every time you have a list or can communicate things as a list, use bullet points. So the key takeaway here is to use bullet points as much as possible. To make bullet points even more impactful and effective, apply the rule of three. Every time you have a list, a long list of action items, insights, things you want to communicate, try to reduce the number to three to five. The rule of three is a classic writing principle and has been used and applied over centuries. For instance, Caesar said, Vini, Vidi, Vici, the Bible states, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The US Constitution says, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This principle states that lists of three are more memorable and effective than other numbers. Therefore, you want to always aim for lists or ideas of three, if possible. A list of three is simple and catchy. Therefore, to make your lists and ideas more impactful, try to aim for a list of threes. So for instance, in this example on the left-hand side, you're informing your supervisor about the issues within the sales organization. Here on the left-hand side in this example, you want to inform your supervisor about the sales organization issues. And you could obviously communicate and tell him all the six, seven issues. But very likely, he won't care about all the issues. He cares about the key issues. And so communicating, synthesizing these issues to the three most important ones or grouping them is more powerful and effective when communicating. You as the communicator, as the sender, have to decide what is the most important thing to communicate. That's why the rule of three is so effective. It forces you to condense your information to the key things and makes each of your points more impactful. Another tactic to improve the effectiveness of your bullet points is to write them in parallel form. And what parallel form says is, the grammatical structure of the sentence should be similar. Let's start with the example on the right-hand side, where the three bullets are written in parallel form. Each sentence starts with a verb and ends with a result. 
So the first sentence says, develop a new product to increase revenues. The next one, reorganize our sales organization to improve flexibility, consolidate vendors to reduce purchasing costs. And so all these three sentences are written in the same grammatical form. Writing sentences in a parallel form looks more professional and consistent. Makes your writing the sentences in parallel form makes them more impactful and more professional. It's also way easier to communicate them because what you're saying here is what we should do is we should develop a new product, we should reorganize our sales organization, and we should consolidate vendors. On the left-hand side, an example that is less impactful is when the grammatical structure differs in each of the bullets. The first bullet, increasing revenues by developing a new product. To reorganize the sales organization, we will reduce purchasing costs. Here we're mixing the result and the activity. In the first bullet, increasing revenue is the result by developing a new product. The next bullet starts with the activity and ends with the result. To reorganize the sales organization will increase flexibility. And so the takeaway here is to use parallel sentence structure in your lists. Welcome back. I hope this video was helpful for you to make your bullet points more effective in your written communication. We talked about why you should use bullet points and not use paragraphs in your written communication. And then we talked about how to make your emails bullet points more effective by applying parallelism, selective bolding, and the rule of three. If there are any other thoughts, questions, please share them with me in the comment section. And I would love for you to hit the like button. It will really help me rank higher in the YouTube algorithm and share this video with more people. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.